When people think about Silicon Valley, they tend to think about Palo Alto, Mountain View, San Jose, the developed areas with all of those iconic companies like Google and Yahoo. But a lot of people don't know that just south of San Jose, we have this beautiful open space, includes agricultural land, wildlife habitat, beautiful hills for hiking, all right in our backyard. And we need to make important decisions as we go forward about are we going to preserve these last vestiges of our agricultural heritage and of these beautiful natural lands that provide so many resources for residents of Silicon Valley in years to come. Coyote Valley is about a 7,000 acre area of land just south of San Jose. It's really one of the most unique and important landscapes, not only here in the Bay Area, but throughout all of California. Coyote Valley is a superlative in terms of conservation. This landscape brings together many, many conservation values, water resources, agriculture, wildlife connectivity, and biodiversity. It's been called the last chance landscape because for decades it's been under the threat of development. And we know as conservationists, most of the valley floors around the San Francisco Bay region are already developed. It's really amazing if you think about it that this one landscape of 7,500 acres still remains and it's one of the richest landscapes uh, and we need to protect it. The battle of protecting these areas versus developing it is something that Greenbelt Alliance has been involved with, with the idea that smart growth involves growing cities upwards instead of outwards. We do not have to follow the sprawl of the 50s and 60s. We can follow a different pattern of economic development. There's no need for the Silicon economy to expand outward beyond these city limits when there's so much potential for growth within city limits. Greenbelt Alliance is a Bay Area organization that addresses a single challenge, which is how our region handles growth. We know that if growth is handled poorly, it sprawls out onto our greenbelt of agricultural natural lands and degrades our quality of life. But if we handle growth well, we can safeguard our greenbelt even as the region grows, and we can use development as a tool to make our cities and towns even better places to live. Santa Clara County is really ground zero for this question of are we going to handle our growth well or handle it poorly? One of the things that I think is most resonant with the general public about open space is when you fly over it. I love to look out the window and see how the dots connect. What about those areas that are still there? Why are they important? They're important for wildlife habitat. Maybe an endangered species lives there or they're the last place for wildlife to move through. Maybe they support our local farmers who are struggling in many ways to stay in business. Those are places where our kids can learn where our food comes from. Maybe they're our local water supply that augments what's already coming from the High Sierra and through the Bay Delta system. Each crop of land is a different color and it looks like this beautiful mosaic, unintentionally made art that you can only see from the sky. The expansion of Silicon Valley is just so fast that you know we need to act up and, and make the right decisions on what to do with this land. Right now, Greenbelt Alliance is engaging in an effort with our partners to come up with a long-term plan to protect Coyote Valley. We want to make sure that the most critical landscapes are protected by being purchased and that the remaining landscape is protected through key policy decisions at the city of San Jose. San Jose is really at a crucial crossroads in terms of deciding what are we going to do with this important landscape. 